Hi, this is Chris Campbell at Adobe Systems. Uh, in this video, I'm going to walk through the expected update steps that occur when updating Flash Player to the latest version. Um, you can see here I have 11.3 installed, but 11.4 is available. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check in my control panel to see what my update mechanism is. So Flash Player, Advanced, and I have Allow Adobe to Install Updates selected. Um, we'll be notified if this one is selected or this one is selected. Um, this notification only occurs uh, for major updates when I have allow Adobe to install updates selected. This one here, I'll see an update notification for any available update. And the update notification is going to occur once I restart my system. So I'm gonna say allow Adobe to install updates and close this. And then we're gonna restart the system. Okay, I've restarted my system here, and we're prompted with the update Adobe Flash Player dialog. Um, we'll see a few bullet points with some text explaining the new features, and we've got a single download button. If I click the download button, my web browser will launch. And I'm taken to this page here at this time, I can opt out of the third-party install, or I can click the Update Now button. I'm going to go ahead and click Update Now, and I'm taken to this page, which actually wants to start the install or download it. I'll click Run. And the Flash Player install has started. So that covers the automated install. Now what if I had selected notify me? So if I'm going to open up Internet Explorer. I've already reverted back to 11.3. I'm going to go to the control panel again. Flash player. Advanced. Notify. Restart the system. And the operating system has restarted and you'll notice the dialog comes up again. You've still got the bullet points. We've got the download button, but we have a new button here called remind me later. If I click this, we'll dismiss the dialog. We won't go through the download process. If I click download, the web page will appear and we'll start going through it. We'll just do it to verify. And the web page has appeared. We've got our opt out and our update now button. Click Update Now. Now we can click Run. And the install is started as expected. So finally, what happens if we have a version prior to 11.3 installed? I've gone ahead and installed 10.3. And I'm going to restart the system. And we get our update flash player notification dialog. We've got two buttons, install, remind me later. Do not remind me about this update. So we can just click this if we wanted to, and we wouldn't be reminded again. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click install. Now, what we'll see here is we will not get a web page to appear. Instead, the standalone version of flash player installer is downloaded and run. I can click I agree and install. This will only install Flash Player. There is no opt-out needed. There are no third-party utilities or applications installed. Click done and it's finished. Flash Player is installed and we're done. 
That's it. Thanks for watching.